Well, greetings, everyone. I'm Tom Costabile, ASME's Executive Director and CEO. On behalf of all of us at ASME and Engineering for Change, I would like to welcome you to the fifth annual Impact Engineered event, the celebration of innovation and the organizations and people who are improving the quality of life for those who need it most. Thank you again for joining us virtually from wherever you may be today. The event today is truly a celebration of world-class innovation. The Impact Engineer 2021 organizing team has put together informative speeches, interactive experiences to provide an inside look at what's trending in the world of engineering for the good. For those of you who are new to ASME, we are a nonprofit membership organization established in 1880 to enable collaboration, knowledge sharing, and skill development across all engineering disciplines. Currently, ASME has about 100,000 members in over 140 countries. As many of you know, ASME's mission is to advance engineering for the benefit of humanity. I can't think of a better way than to do this <clears throat> and to continue our critical work and support of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. With ASME's global network of engineers, we have an opportunity to solve the humankind's biggest challenges and truly build a better future. Simultaneously, technical and social in nature, the SDGs require high impact solutions, a technical talent pipeline prepared to engage effectively, as well as an infrastructure and public leadership to drive the implementation at scale. We now <clears throat> are less than one decade away from the deadline set for achieving the UN SDGs. ASME has been dedicated to these issues for over a decade and launched Engineering for Global Development to build the pipeline and capacity of technical talent globally to solve urgent challenges and deliver sustainable solutions. This event is an example of how we came, can come together to make a positive impact. Today, you'll have the chance to convene our, with our global community of engineering experts, social innovators, and <clears throat> pragmatic optimists to strategize, get inspired, and celebrate cutting edge work. I want to offer a heartfelt thanks to our engineering global development staff and the event organizing team who have worked very hard to bring Impact Engineer 2021 to the world this year. Our thanks as well to Impact Engineer's 2021 sponsors and partners, including the ASME Foundation, Siemens Stiplum, and the Resolution Project. Your generous contributions of time, talent, treasure make this event possible and help to advance <clears throat> the important work. The truth is we could not do this without you. And again, a heartfelt thanks from all of us to all of you. Let me also offer a word of thanks to our Impact Engineer 2021 keynote presenter, Austin Alexander, Vice President, Sustainability and Social Impact at Xylem Inc. She's got a great keynote speech for, for us today. I'm looking forward to learning more about the company's approach to solving uh, urgent challenges like water scarcity and affordability in the face of climate change and to create a more water secure world for future generations. Again, Austin, my thanks to you for sharing your leadership, your expertise and insight with all of us today. And finally, I sincere thanks and congratulations to all of this year's Impact Engineer 2021 award nominees. These passionate and inspiring individuals and committed organizations and their leaders, educators and innovators who are driving social technology and environmental change. They all play a vital role in supporting the ecosystem of innovation and shaping the future of sustainable development. Please be sure to join us for the award celebration later in the program and to learn more about the nominees and their contributions and leadership in global development, as well as to see who takes home the top honors in the five categories that we issue this year. I had a sneak preview. It's again, a very impressive group of individuals. So in closing, ladies and gentlemen, let me just say that the work of the sustainable global development is truly at the heart of engineering today and tomorrow. And simply, it's at the heart of ASME as well. This expertise, your expertise is indispensable for our global future. All I can say is thank you, thank you, and thank you. So one last thing before I yield the floor to, <clears throat> to Yana and Rana. Uh, everyone gathered here has been invited to making a part of Impact Engineered a reality. We'll hope you consider joining ASME as a partner in this great community of colleagues at the heart of what is vital, creative, diverse, and a growing ecosystem. We would love you to have to be part of it. And <clears throat> to find out more, please reach out to any member of the Impact Engineered organi Organizing Team. 
Again, thanks for joining us today. Enjoy the event. And now it's my pleasure to turn this over to uh, Yana Aranda, ASME's Director of Glo <clears throat> Global Engineering Development. Yana, good morning. Good morning, Tom. It's a pleasure to be here. And thank you so much for kicking us off and for your encouraging words. Colleagues, it's a pleasure to connect with you today and take a moment to reflect on the progress we've made and the work that remains to be done. I have the honor of leading an incredible team that has been dedicated to advancing sustainable development through engineering since 2010. The world has changed dramatically since then. And looking back at this year and last, it feels like that change is accelerating. From the visible and growing impacts of climate change to COVID-19 and its collateral consequences, the challenges we face collectively cross borders and are well beyond the scope of any individual, company, industry, sector, or government. In parallel, the potential for solutions seems greater than ever. We are seeing tremendous leaps forward in communications technology, clean energy, mobile health, distributed workforce, and much more. It's an unprecedented convergence. Addressing the wicked problems of our time and developing meaningful solutions requires not only a systems perspective and technological competency, but must be combined with a human-centered approach. This is a skill set unique to the engineers that work in sustainable development. It's becoming increasingly obvious to, both, to those both within and outside our profession that engineers are vital to achieving the SDGs. In March of this year, I joined the opening ceremony of the World Engineering for Sustainable Development Day hosted by UNESCO, which included the launch of the UNESCO Engineering Report. Their assessment emphasized the role of the engineer in realizing the SDGs. It highlighted the need for solutions that span regions and cultures, underscoring the importance of global cooperation for the common good. This was followed in June by an announcement from the International Engineering Alliance of revisions to their graduate attributes and professional competencies framework. In case you're not familiar, the IEA is a global nonprofit organization dedicated to improving engineering education and competence globally. The framework recorded the consensus from 29 member nations on the attributes of engineering graduates based on international accords, including the Washington Accord, the Sydney Accord, and the Dublin Accord, which provided a mutual recognition of programs accredited for engineers, engineering technologists, and engineering technicians, respectively. The framework had not meaningfully changed since the 1990s, and the current version is notable for its inclusion of the SDGs, ethics and inclusivity, as well as critical thinking. This new framework is the result of advocacy by engineering organizations, and it's a significant recognition of the evolving practice of engineering, the need for building the competency of the global workforce, and the value of the skills associated with the interdisciplinary and human-centered work of engineering for sustainable development. But the work is not done yet. The unfortunate reality is, as noted in the last assessment in the UN's Global Sustainable Development Report in 2090, that we are not on track to achieve the SDGs by 2030. For significant progress, we need systemic change, cross-sector engagement, regulation, and government action. This requires that engineers are trained at much faster rates, equipped to be at the decision-making table and advocate across all sectors. To meet the UN's 2030 agenda deadline, the EGD team at ASME is fiercely focused on building the workforce of the future, ensuring improved engineering engagement and technological stewardship. We are leveraging an ecosystem of platforms and programs to prepare and mobilize our growing community. Our leading digital platform is Engineering for Change, or e for c for short, is a knowledge organization and global community of more than 1 million engineers, designers, development practitioners, and social scientists who are leveraging technology to solve quality of life challenges faced by vulnerable communities. E4C's perspectives cut across geographies and sectors, including ICT, energy, water, sanitation, transport, health, habitat, and agriculture, providing pathways to connect, learn, explore, and freely access critical knowledge and networks to advance the social sector. E4C members can access news and thought leaders, insights on research and hundreds of essential technologies in E4C solutions library, professional development resources, and unique training opportunities, such as our E4C fellowship. Fellowships enable 
engineers early in their professional journeys to develop professional skills while advancing the sustainable development goals. This highly competitive annual program attracts global applicants and continues to grow. And the contributions of the fellows are advancing sustainability strategies in the private and public sectors alike. E4C fellows and our partners will be presenting some of their projects shortly. Our training extends to the social entrepreneurship space with our hardware-led social innovation accelerator, iShow, which matches social ventures across the globe with the design services, engineering expertise, and financial support they need to successfully take physical products to market and achieve positive social and environmental impact. Our 2021 iShow cohort will be showcasing their innovations today, and we are excited to announce a new iShow program as part of our innovation launchpad later in the program. Lastly, EGD and E4C serve as ecosystem enablers, providing a variety of platforms to advance academic research and the sector at large through forums such as today's Impact Engineered event that connects the diverse sectors and actors focused on engineering a better future for us all. The social sector and engineering fields are in a state of evolution and rapid growth fueled by digital connectivity. Solution development and delivery increasingly spans technical disciplines, cultures, and socioeconomic conditions. With the SDG targets less than a decade away and the COVID-19 pandemic continuing to add a new element of uncertainty to the ambitious 2030 agenda, engineers are now more than ever needed on the front line of social change. All of us here today share an ambition to improve the world and make a positive impact. I'm excited to learn from our incredible roster of speakers and award nominees from around the world and meet the extraordinary community that we've assembled here. Thank you for joining us here today. I encourage all of you to connect via our virtual platform and through our networking sessions. This is a unique opportunity to engage with our global community. And I hope that this event will be a catalyst for meaningful connections. With that in mind, I'd like to take a few minutes to provide you with some guidance on our Zoom platform and some key reminders. So let's take a moment to practice using Zoom, even though I'm sure you're all quite experts at this point. Please take a moment to type right now into the chat window what part of the world you are joining us from today. The chat window is located at the bottom right of your screen. If the chat is not open on your screen, try clicking the chat icon at the bottom of the screen in the middle of the presentation. So let's take a moment and see where we have some attendees from today. I see that we have folks here from uh, Denver and Malawi. I see Yemen. Um, I see that we have uh, a lot of folks here from New York. Welcome everyone. It's such a pleasure to see you here. Um, we also invite you to take a moment to vote for our Changemaker Award. The nominees are listed on our site and you have until 11.40 a.m. Eastern Standard Time to vote. If you're ready to cast your vote for your favorite changemaker, please go to the link that we are sharing in the chat right now. And of course, we invite you to attend a networking session at the end of our event to meet the E4C Fellowship or the iShow team. For those who are unable to sign up, links will be shared in the chat and also available in the session description of our event homepage during today's closing remarks. Please feel free to message the E4C admin at any time for help. And uh, pro tip, for the best experience, please view the event full screen on your desktop in Chrome. 